Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. It was Christmas 2011 when a car nearly ran an Indiana family off the road on their way to Disney World. Jared Brethrick made a frantic 911 call. And he stopped in the middle of the road, will not move his vehicle. When the other driver approached, Brethrick held up his holstered gun and the driver backed off. That driver then made his own 911 call. He has a gun pointed to me in the back of my car. Now the Supreme Court has upheld Brethrick being charged with aggravated assault, but the court also ruled it was up to Brethrick to prove he was entitled to stand your ground immunity, not prosecutors to prove he wasn't. The National Rifle Association says the decision is an assault on Second Amendment rights. You are innocent until the state proves you guilty. They have reversed that. If you exercise self-defense, protect yourself and your family against a criminal, you are now guilty until proven innocent. Lawmakers are almost certain to get involved in the coming months with legislation that will clarify or minimize what the court has done. State know, Representative I mean, Alan Williams know. says the ruling is now an opportunity for lawmakers to scrap stand your ground and start over. There are provisions of the law that allow aggressors to get away with murder, and so I want us to repeal it and start over. So hopefully this is our opportunity. Legislation, if filed, could reignite the stand your ground battle as early as September. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.